Hi, welcome back. In this tutorial, we'll try to work on creating some ambient occlusion effects. And creating is effects, it's nothing to do with ambient occlusion, real time ambient occlusion. It's just creating some faking light, the dark shades and all that stuff. So I'll go back to Photoshop. Here, I would like to work on it with a texture first. So come back here. So I'll go back to the base color. Click on selection. That's it. I'll go back here, add a new layer. Now I'll go back to the brush. I'll use some differences. I'll go for this one. Okay, good. I'll go for a little bit. Or let's try to work on very low opacity. see much of effect but if you start gradually adding can you see the difference now Good. now I'll go for a normal brush look for a normal brush and the capacity I'll put it down As if the one which is used. That's it. That's it. Okay. If you want it, you can play with the surface. So I like this one a little bit. I'll change this as well. So I'll create one layer, put this in here, shade. Let's test it, okay? Control D, file, save it, come back to my button, reload. Let's see the effect now. With the bump map and all this stuff. Now we'll try to work on the handle. The handle bit is here. Can you see here? I would like to get some dark effect here. Okay, here, this is it. See, this is it's all the areas we have to work on. So go back to Photoshop. This is the handle. Okay, come here. It's better to use a base color. This one, this one, and this one. I'll come back here, create a new line. Then I'll use the same procedure. Go for black, and the brush is the one which I might I can use any one of these things. I'll use this one. The capacity is too low. Go for a little bit more. Here, control plus. Again, so many. This is the two pass. The brush is too big, so I'll change the brush size to some. Okay. We use it. Oh, 
buenas. Algo con normal crash. Opacity al We'll highlight it. We'll work on the brightness and the color levels and all the control levels. Let's take a half of it. I'll let this open a little bit now. Let's go back to Maya. Same procedure, control day. But what I'll do is just change this to uh, this is and shading. I'll go for this here. This two. Go back to the shading. I'll add new layer. I'll just do it fast, okay? I'll use my brush. This one. Opacity, I'll go for some 37. It's done. <laughs> okay. I do a like this. Brush, the opacity, put it down. Work on this opacity. Let's come back here. Read up. New lane. Should be shading. Okay. This one. I'll go for once again the same brush. In a different brush, I'll go for something. This is not. Okay, something. See, suddenly, if I just start, and you will see this looks less than one. So we can work on it later, but we will get this all so fast. Now, finally, we got left with this. This one. So come back here. Select. 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 
us. Okay, shading to the new layer. Okay, I'll paint. You could use anything, I'm just because this is not I don't want to waste your time and my time on this. Painting all this is fine. Opacity is too low. Let the normal brush get me to the best thing. Now this is a very basic one we did, but you can start working on adding more details. Now the next option is that adding some designs here. Okay, come back to mine. If you let's take this one, it's too dark. A little bit of Or else you can work on different like overlays or screens. <laughs> or, yeah. Generally, I'll, I'll prefer the open normal. Let me check this intensity. Put a little bit of capacity here. Okay, we forward all these things. Let's see. This is tip. This is blade. Okay. Now on the handle, this is handle. So this is the handle. Okay. <coughs> we'll try to put some designs on top of it. I'll go back to Photoshop. File open. I did download some text in Photoshop instead of this one. <coughs> I want to use this one. But what I will set. First of all, I think I'll just click on all the white. Selecting all the black one. some time, a little bit of time, but your patience will be set. Using the selection, bit of time now. We are nearly, nearly, nearly done. Okay, now select inverse. I'll check it out. Come back here. 
Okay, it looks okay. Let's come here. Rather than creating a new layer, what I'll do is just select them, go to paths, create a new path. Just created a path like this. And then click on selection layers. Then fill it with white. Here. This one you can close it. No. Now this layer, I'll just go to in edit, transform, put it on the base. Control T. I'll scale it down. I'll switch on my layout because I would like to see. Control T. Now what I'll do, I'll just hold Alt, okay, I need one more, once it is done, I'll take all these things, I'll merge it in the control P, I don't want it to like this. so I select this one soft light I change it to just a soft light and if you see here I'll add one more the same layer I'll add one more something like this and edit fill it with the white okay the same way Looks okay. Now switch it off. Save it. Come back here. Reload. Can you see me now? We need a little bit more here. Can you see? Switch on this one. We need some more. This, this one, and this one. So no problem. Just one more. Same layer, I'm filling it with white because it's already Fill it. Now we'll do this one. Now let's switch off. Save it. Come back here. Must have switched off something. Tools. You can do it here. Okay. Now the next option is that this one. I'll put this in a new group. I'll name. This. Okay. I'll name this as new layer. Like this one. I'll change this to handle this one. And what I'll do, I'll try to add some more bits on this I want some cro cross lines and other things. Okay? 
everything I'll do it in only in this thing but I'll try to merge it like this I'll create one layer something like this add it fill with white Control A. I can drag and select this layer the same thing if you hold alt Just it duplicate a couple of layers like this. Where's the layers? And you know, screen. So it's soft light. Okay. Now control D. Before this, just kill it a little bit up. Okay, I need. What I'll do, I'll just hold Alt. I'll put the normal, both as normal, so that I can see. See, enter. Now you always know. Go to base color, click on, and select inverse. Go back here, backspace. Switch it up. You can select both the things. The layers it should be soft light. I'll make this this one now. A bit more effect is needed. I'll zoom in here, select this one, add some effects. Go for a drop shadow. Can you see that bit here now? Click on drop shadow. Inc increase this bit. You can clearly see on this thing. Okay, a little bit play with it till you see it. And now the next one is that you can go for a little bit of inner glow. Here, I'll increase a little bit of choke. Ah, uh, now. I really don't like this one. Maybe. If you want stroke and all of that, it's up to you. But decrease the opacity. Okay, I take some. It's up to you. How do you like to wish? There's something gone wrong here. Can you see here? Come here. I'll just select this layer. Fill it. Right, it's sorted out. That is the advantage. <laughs> I'll come back here, control zero, everything is on. Save it, come back here, fill it. So hope you enjoyed this lesson. What I will do is that I'll try to follow the same procedure, work on all those things. And in the next tutorial, I'll try to show you how to convert these maps into the normal maps and the bump maps.
and which are the one which you like, we can do it. Okay? Cheers. See ya. Bye.